and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some four color discard. Kempachi has a pretty sweet deck for us here today. Look at this spicy one. We are trying to make our opponent discard all their cards. We we have duress. This this looks like this is gonna be pretty good against the slower decks. We got duress, thought erasure, disinformation campaign, Davriel, Basilica Bell Hunt, Nicol Bolas the Ravager, Angrath. Like all these things just attacking our opponent's hand. This looks to be pretty awesome. Uh, you know, the big question is, will our mana work? I feel pretty good about it. Um, we'll see with, like, like Kaya's Wrath, Bell Hunt, uh, you know, having 10 white sources. 10 white sources is a little rough with double whites, but um, besides that, everything else looks like it's, it's pretty doable here. Um, yeah, like, this, this looks to be a... a uh, a pretty cool little deck. Um, we're we're mixing like Esper Control and Grixis Control together, kind of like that's that's what we're doing here. We're like Grixis has a hard time dealing with like like Grixis doesn't have a good sweeper, um, and you know can has can have a hard time dealing with uh, uh, enchantments where we have Teferi to deal with enchantments. We have a good sweeper with Kaya's Wrath. We have a really good threat that makes them discard here with Bell Hunt. Uh, kind of looking at the deck, though, that really isn't very much white. And so I wonder if white's worth it. As If y'all are uh, longtime viewers of the channel, you know that uh, before Ravnica Allegiance, I think, or... Yeah, or no, after Ravnica Allegiance, before War of the Spark, my favorite deck to play was Grixis Discard, which, which looked pretty similar to this with Disinformation Campaign and Grath. Um, yeah, yeah, so it was before War of the Spark, but then War of the Spark was, came out with this Nicol Bolas that just kind of replaced Angrath for me. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty used to these discard decks, but this one looks pretty spicy here. Uh, this is Exus Control, like Esper and Grixis, Exus Control. That's pretty good. But yeah, let's, let's give this a try. Let's see how it does. Let's see if we get to discard a lot of cards. All right, so we'll play a league. See if we get that five-win dream. Hawkeye decided to come join us here after the last deck. It's a good thing we haven't had the wins today, and so hopefully Hawkeye is going to bring us some luck. I have not played your rock plus campaign. Um. That could be a fun thing. I've thought about yeah, like you rock with you rock with campaign with. Um, I kind of want to keep this honestly. Oh no, there's no shock land. All right, there's a shock land. You rock with uh, eldest reborn also. You know, it, it enters. They sacrifice two. Maybe we need that kind of deck. All right, I need to keep both the temples because otherwise we're not playing this bell haunt. So I guess it's watery grave that goes. But then, oh man, then it's just all tap lands. Oh, that's fine. Tap left. That's fine. We're going first. We got time. Ooh, that card's good. Because we got turn two to rest, turn three has can't. We're, we're just playing a turn behind, but we're on the on the play, so it's kind of like we're on the kind of like we're on the draw. It's like we're on the draw and have perfect mana. Dang, definitely gotta get rid of that arc bow. Yeah, that real cool. You're welcome, Cash Money. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, I don't know if Eldritch Reborn would go to two immediately. I don't think so. Or wait, maybe, is that what, is that what would happen? What would happen with Yurok Eldritch Reborn? I don't even know. Something would happen. That's, 
I think I can confirm that something would happen, but what would actually happen, who knows? Maybe somebody else does. I'm not a judge. Even I though I play one on TV. No. I'm not a judge, but I stayed at a Holiday Inn Express Let's last try night. This. There we go. That's better. Let's see. Get Davriel going or get this as Kanta back down. That's Kanta. With them having the fibble thip to hit the Davriel. Trust me, I have a plan. No. That card's so good against the discard deck. Uh Because then it doesn't matter, like, what they top deck later. So they can just turn it into whatever else they need. The Kind of the point of the, the discard deck is to put your opponent in top decking scenarios. But... If all their top decks are great, I've got it. And that takes takes out the power of our deck. I don't know how I'm beating this Biogenic Ooze. All right, I think we figured it out. Would it be too obvious if I just bounce my bell haunt? <laughs> okay, so Yurok doesn't do anything with sagas. I'm known for my excellent timing. So no interaction between Yurok and Sagas. Here goes nothing. Uh I wish I had that before, I would have bounced the arc bow. Dang. Man, I wish I could have bounced the arc bow. Should have just done it, Hawkeye. We had two duresses in our deck that we could have hit to make it really that worth it. Our opponent's playing Bant Arcbow. They're gonna have a, just a lot of good creatures to hit with these Arcbows. Here we go. Yeah, this is one of my favorite cards. Yeah, I've definitely made lots of Arpo decks. more like it. This looks pretty bad for us. These Davriels are kind of worthless. Yeah. Unfor <laughs> unfortunately, they're not doing anything. Getting rid of their hand is just not valuable. Thanks, opponent. Hmm. 
You're right, I cannot instant speed Wrath, can I? Because they have a Teferi in play. That's okay, though. We'll just Wrath on our turn. I mean, I guess I could have played Davriel last turn. Yeah. So now we get to kill another one of their creatures and save my creature. Now what? So that works out. Yeah, that definitely helped having the bell hunt bounced. This might be a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, Orzov time white. Yeah, I guess I could have kept Blood Crypt and Shocked in and been able to go Davriel also. But. Looking for Frilled Mystic probably here. Probably need to keep this Bedevil if they, if they do play this Scary Angel. I've got time. Hey Sam, thanks for the, continuing that gift sub. What do we draw? Discovery? I wish Davriel could just do two damage anywhere. <clears throat> and wish Davriel could do damage to Planeswalkers. Make this quick. I'm bored already. Let's tidy up in there. All I've left you is Oh yeah, Bedevil can hit Arcbow. What am I doing? Yeah, I should have bedeviled that Arcbow. Well at least Dawnbringer's out of here. If we would bedevil the Arcbow, Dawnbringer would have been really difficult to deal with anyway, so that's out of there. <clears throat> Don't worry, I got this. I kind of wouldn't mind just bouncing Frilled Mystic if I'm them. Ugh. All right, well, well we're gonna need another Kai's Wrath. Even with the land, I cannot cast Bedevil and uh, Bell Haunt next turn because we have an island over here. Yeah, Dispersal can get rid of Oketra only if they don't have a card in hand, but they're going to keep a card in hand because of Arcbow. Or not. Hmm. I 
guess they were just scared of me making them discard their card. That's just a land. <clears throat> Can't really afford them to hit Frilled Mystic. And we just gotta hope that they don't have like a creature in the top eight. <laughs> Darn. Man, Arcbow's really tough. Alright, so we have three Bedevils. We're gonna need to try to Bedevil that thing earlier. I guess I could have Ego for that. Try the Carnaria may not be that bad. Maybe I'd rather just have Disfigure than Cry the Carnarium. Just try to hit a mana creature right away. Unfortunately, Paradise Druid doesn't get hit. Though. Basically, I have no interest in playing... I have a very little interest in playing Davriel here. <laughs> they're gonna have, they're gonna side in Nullhide Ferox. Oh, that would be gross. That would be gross. We could probably play an Arc Bow in this Ultai Treachery deck. It's not something I want to like really build around in there, but like if we just have one arc bow in there, could be a thing. It kind of be like instead of the fine finality, basically. Hmm. Hey, Dirk. Hey, Base. I probably could have cut some duresses. No, oh, never mind. Dress, super important. All right, just like last time. This is just like last game. We had turn two duress. We got to take arc bow. But then they drew another arc bow. I don't I don't think that's an accurate statement. Sultai got a beating today. I don't I'm, that's not really what happened. We lost a lot of close ones to aggro. Um, did show a little You'll thank me later. some weakness in the aggro matchups that oh, I've um, done the hero with the, a few small tweaks I think doing a pretty good job of of getting rid of them. The uh, the holes. I don't want to Noxious Grasp this Teferi. But I also want to tick up Nicol Bolas. Man, I wish I wish I could cast an instant. I wish I wish I could instant speed this Shalai at end step and then untap and Nicol Bolas. Hey, Bias Green also continuing the gifted sub.
Y'all are awesome. I'll protect you. Again, but I am Death's master. I've got it. Vivian, pretty good. Beasts are much more reliable than humans. Well, we got good removal here. Noxious Grasp looks awesome. The wild. We'll use that, of course. Shield. Yeah, to check out your subscription to know when it expires and everything. If you click on like your pic, your picture in the top right, um, should bring up a menu, and and in that menu there's a subscriptions tab. A moat of my power. I always survive. You'll see. Man, Teferi's such a pain. Because again, we need to. Yet again, we need to bedevil this Cavalier Thorns instant speed. Uh, so they don't get the value of like whenever it dies, it puts the card back on top. But we can't. No problem. This this is September, which means that subs are half off Let's this month. This. So yeah, so there are half price subs this month. So if you'd like to help support the stream for only two fifty instead of the normal five dollars to get all of the awesome emotes, never a better month to do that. My Will be pain. I outsmarted you eons ago. We've gotten three subscribers so far today towards our sub goal. <laughs> yeah, the emotes are great. No, the discount does not come out of my end. It comes out of Twitch's end. So it's basically Twitch is not getting any cut on subs this month. quite see him yeah he hawkeye was just up here a little bit ago he's here at the beginning of the video but he went he was napping before but then he came up at the beginning of this video and now he's laying down on the couch this might be a bad idea All right, so I can either bounce the token or bounce Lyra and then Thought Erasure. Probably better just to get rid of Lyra.
Well timed. Well timed surveil there. Get another one of these lands out of here. This is looking really good for us. Ooh, that's a great card. Conceivable. My schemes are never ending. I wonder why they didn't just play Elvish. Why didn't they play that? I'll protect you. Or Land of War Elves, not Elvish Mystic. Land of War Elves. Why don't they just play Land of War Elves? Thanks, dudes. That's more like it. Yeah, I mean, eventually we're gonna start drawing well. <laughs> we had all these lands. We're gonna get to the spells eventually. Vitalius. We've had a lot of really good games today. They haven't been going our way as much. Dispersal? Okay. Yeah, Nicol Bolas is really good. Real good. Oh, rotation proof arc bow deck. I haven't made one of those before, but that could be I'll write that down as a as an idea. That could be something I make for next Monday. That could be pretty fun. Alright, Storm, have a good night. Yeah, that's that's a good one. Our lands are either black, white, or blue, red. I will have to say that I, I don't like these blue, red lands. I don't think our deck should have blue, red lands. That we should have like red, black, red, white. You know, like with having like Bell Haunts and, and Kaya's Wraths and Thought Erasures, I think like all of our lands should, should be able to play these. And so having. A land like the, a blue red land that doesn't cast bell hunt. I guess red white wouldn't cast thought erasure though. But we can have blue white and black white. Yeah, I'm not sure if we have any blue white lands. Huh. Well, Frilled Mystic's the scariest card, but they have basic planes. So yeah, they have this planes that doesn't cast the Frilled Mystic, so I can just wait a turn and Thought Erasure the Frilled Mystic next turn. So we'll take this Shalai. And then we have more information for next turn. No. Mm. I don't know that. The Blood Crypt does let my Sulfur Falls come into play untapped. 
But we're behind. We're going to need to find some lands. Yeah, Moxie. Yeah. Yeah, if you find it, if you find one, feel free to send me one on Discord. Yeah, I'm thinking about certainly thinking about um playing that deck or playing playing Ar Arcane Adaptation for Thursday. We should have kept this blood crypt. Oh, whoops. Guess I should play this land. That comes into play untapped. I played the reason why I played the chapel is because we need another black source, black or white for Basilica Bell Hunt. You know, playing Silver Falls would still be two lands away from Bell Hunt. So, we're taking lethal, no matter what we do. To play Bell Hunt, I have to shock so that we only gain one life. So we go to five. I can block here, but five kills me. Just playing Teferi, obviously they have lethal. That turn two, four, three, Knight of Autumn got me. GG's. All right, so playing, playing a game here with the deck. I would. I certainly don't like these blue red lands. That's one thing I would I would change is getting rid of blue red lands. <clears throat> Just. We have four Bell Haunt, three Kaya's Wraths. I need my lands to cast my cards. And these blue red lands don't cast those cards at all. That's. It's not good. <laughs> yeah, tough luck Tuesday today. It's okay, we we did really well yesterday, you know, had a, a bunch of five win leagues yesterday. And so catch them back up with us today. That's how magic goes. One day you think you think you got it down and you're winning a lot and you, you think you think like, wow, I'm getting pretty good at this and then the next day you'll be humbled and it won't work out. So keeping this hand because obviously because of Kai's Wrath and Kai's Wrath being a very good magic card. I kind of wonder if like just playing the Bloodthirsty Aerialist is honestly better. Or take sorry, taking the bloodthirsty aerialist for me is honestly better since they can they cannot or sorry so because they can cast like this is the card they can cast and honestly I, I may want them to actually cast their card because we have the Kaiser Wrath so maybe I should have just taken aerialist so they cast their card nah. Well, this is looking great for us. Let's go Wrath into Dragon God. If 
opponents just playing black white life gain matter stuff. Yeah, it's the Najani Pride Mate. Or a Johnny's Pride deck. I really like Bell Hunt as a card, and I really like Nickel Bull's Dragon God as a card. Get those two together. GG. No! I outsmarted you eons ago. Yeah, I mean, yeah, instead of blue red, I mean, we have to kind of take a look at the mana base, but could play, like, definitely black red. Um, could play white red. I have other schemes to attend to. My I know white white red doesn't cast thought erasure, but I think casting bell haunts and um. No fire. I should have played this first no before steel. before the nickel balls take up, but does, like the game's over, it doesn't matter. I think playing being able to cast bell haunts in Kaya's wrath is more important than than thought erasure. Um. I wonder if replacing Bedevil with something else would be better. Anyway, if maybe you know, maybe just like reducing red. I want to like, I really like Bell Haunt and Yokai's know, Wrath and all that kind of stuff. I wonder if like red, all we want are like these five mana walkers, and I guess My this thing maybe. Are never ending. Just no fire, you know, reduce the. No steel amount of red we actually need. Why am I playing that? What am I doing? Pass the turn. Yeah, we could play like Mortify Contempt. I think there's there's a lot of good removal that we can play in, in like the Esper colors. Obviously, you know, you see the Esper decks, you know, Disparks, Cast Downs, all that kind of stuff. Lots of good cards we can play. My wrath is your damn night. Whoa. They gave Nicol Bolas an animation for the minus eight now. Yeah, like I can I can tell that you know like how we have black, blue, like everything's black or blue, like can tell that like thought erasure is the the main thing that worried about casting but these these lands should go they need to be like just some some more extra red black lands which extra red black like i want more red black lands which more red black means we need more like blue white obviously we had to worry about this card though and needing a lot of black sources for this card as well um I don't really need duress too much here. No, Interplanar Beacon doesn't cast Kai's Wrath or Basilica Bell Hunt. You can't can't play that land. I need my lands to cast those two cards. Like they're Yeah, like they have four pips in them at four mana, and they're vital cards to play. They're the like the two most important cards to be casting. All right, well, I like our hand. We got 
two white sources. Which can be a struggle in this this mana base. We got two white sources. We have Kai's Wrath. I like our hand. Uh, we can wait till turn five for Kaya's Wrath. Uh, yeah, give me this campaign. Let's do campaign next turn. Thanks, Kampachi. So I I made this deck before War of the Spark again. Before War of the Spark, I, I basically made this deck. I didn't have Bell Hunt, but it was the Grixis discard, splashing Kaya's Wrath and and five mana to Fairy. So and I and like my and you know I had a twenty six land mana base and it, it worked out pretty well. We'll see if I can find that deck. I had basically the same deck here. And so maybe we can see what I did for the mana base there. Uh, I guess we're dead, aren't we? Yeah, I guess we're dead. I guess we could not wait till turn 5 for Wrath. Because we take 9 here and we have to shock. There's, there's not non-shock lands. Well, wait, yeah, there is. There's... I guess I needed to ditch that. Yes, this was, I guess, six months ago. Seven months ago. Yeah, we're dead. And Ravnica Allegiant Standard was seven months ago. Here, this was my latest iteration. Here, take a look at that, Kampachi. I guess I should just play I should play that card over duress. Yeah, I should get more creature removal. Dr. Dents. Did you... Kampachi, did you see that? The the uh, list that I just put into the chat there? Okay, cool. Because, yeah, like that, that mana base worked just fine. Hmm.
All right, so Kaya's Wrath really important against our opponent's creatures deck here. So keeping Kaya's Wrath, but we don't have a lot of white sources, so we need to find another white source. So I'm going to keep this discovery to look for white source. So now anything that's not white source is going. Those are not white sources they're going. Yeah, and so I had that mana base before temples were a thing, but I still really liked them. When we're not playing basics, it's kind of hard to play the temples also and just have tap lands. I think we can just get away with just shocks and checks. Because check lands are, you know, like they don't deal damage to you, and that's pretty important, not taking damage. Because, yeah, this, this is just not... Not good. Oh, thanks, love. This is why it says this is why I like watching Todd learn and see the thought process to help you become a better player. That's what I I try to do. I try to help. But hey, it's good. It's good to know. You know, like it's it's a good learning process. Yeah. Sure, the temple's bad here for this league, but we can change it. So we're taking seven here. I honestly did not know this was a card. There's another Vampire Lord. That has to be like, I don't know, I didn't even know this was a card. Yeah, Beltra I was. Yeah, I liked the Sultai Arkbo deck. That's from a pre-con deck. Makes sense. Because, yeah, I didn't know that was a card. Wrong one. You. Cool, yeah. Yeah, if you like Arcbow, I liked, yeah, I would recommend the Sultai one. Probably over Band. Hey, Lala. Day's going pretty good. We're not picking up too many wins, but it's all good. My revenge will be pain. <laughs> You have no weakness that I cannot exploit. Wow, Nicol Bolas's plus is really good. You you tick up, you draw a card and exile a creature. That's really good. This card's pretty mean. Poor opponent. I will return. Let your weak minds crumble. Here, be monster. Your crew for my freedom. <laughs> A fair price. All right, down to three permanents. I 
I will return one day. I outsmarted you eons ago. I don't really know why I'm playing stuff. Definitely don't need to. All I gotta do is take up on this Dragon God next turn and then take up on it again. Time plays what my intellect is without limit. I know. I'm trying I'm trying to win as fast as possible. You are over. Sorry, opponent, you are over. I did not forget to activate Angrath. Took too long to activate Angrath, didn't want to. Just wanted to get to just um, ultimate Nickel Bull as fast. There's... We just didn't need to do anything else. Instead of my opponent sitting there, like, waiting for me to, like, do all my stuff and them sit back and, like, you know, see all the animations and stuff. I was just getting to the end of it. All right, Kenpachi, have a good night. Alright, basically looking for white mana. So many dinosaurs. Yay, white mana. Oh, this card's really good. All right, we'll keep it. I probably shouldn't be keeping it. We already have an Angrath. Well, that's rude. I'm kind of priced into keeping it now. <clears throat> that is so many dinosaurs. I'm going to let them keep the rotting register so they discard some of these dinosaurs. Plus, Angrath can steal Rotting Regisaur and, and make them sacrifice it also. Ugh, double Ceratops. Not white mana. So we have to draw exactly isolated chapel.
Isolated Chapel. I mean, it's it's just being a dead horse, but you know our deck doesn't have enough white sources. There's ten. Like it's just not. That's not enough. For double white spells. Just not really too much else to say about that. But. So Davriel and Campaign are our slow cards. Let's get rid of these duresses. Um... Yeah, the the amount that you you need, of course, can change when you have cards like Discovery, that you know when you when you have acceleration through your deck, that number can change also. The more the more ac acceleration to be able to dig through your deck you have, the the less you need. But still, you can't have ten. I don't think we should. Um, yeah, we could have more than that. Um, but whether we need 16, I would be a whole lot more comfortable if we had 16. But if you have cards like Discovery that can get through your deck, you can get away with a little less. Really hope they have like the one two that we can actually disfigure. Perfect. Yeah, the four color deck may need like all four discovery to help out with. The different colors yeah keep yeah that was that was a mistake i made last game for sure i should not have kept the bolus that was a hundred percent mistake um it was magnified of course by my opponent you know their next turn drawing the the seven six and playing a seven six immediately that um i wasn't really accounting for when i was already keeping it i I should have audibled after they played the 7-6. I still had the chance to ditch it to the Escanta, but I I didn't for his pride reasons, I guess. But but the first, you know, I had three chances to get rid of it. And the first two times, I wasn't expecting them to play a 7-6 immediately. It was looking like their their next turn was going to be on turn four, and then I could play the Bolas on turn five to kill their four four mana Dino. All right, well, Rotting Registrar is helping out our discard plan.
Yuck. Yuck. I wanted them, yeah, obviously I, I, I should not just disfigure before attacking, because then they just don't attack, you know, it's just a waste. But... That hurt. Yeah, recurring bell haunt is. Ugh. It's always fun. <laughs> Your crew for my freedom? <laughs> A fair price. Well, so much for me. Like, they draw a land, I get to, like, attack for three, play the Angrath, take up again, and start, you know, to actually have, like, good pressure on them. But now they drew a Ceratops, so so much for that. I, I could either make them lose two life or kill the Land War Elf, and just going with killing the Land War Elf. They could draw, you know, like, five mana dinosaurs. The fire's out, but the embers burn on. Yeah, we could have taken the Ceratops. Um, it doesn't kill the Ceratops, but yeah, we could just take the Ceratops. It, it only sacrifices things that are three or less. So it would have just been damage. It's pretty likely that my opponent has Veil of Summer here. But even with that into consideration, I think this is... Oh, wait, I can't even mine on that thing anyway. It's pro, pro blue. So, all right, cool. I'll just draw. No! My schemes are never-ending. Never-ending. You hear that, Ceratops? Can't end these schemes. Not only does sitting back help protect Nicol Bolas, but they could also just draw another Ceratops and have lethal if I attacked. schemes to attend <laughs> you have no weakness that I cannot exploit it would be better to play that instant speed but that was that was a bad auto tap I wasn't paying attention to the auto tap I was starting to save my statement so I could have had Angrass steal that hunt master darn it that was a bad auto tap <laughs> Your efforts are futile. What I was going to say is I don't want to, to let them just draw uh, Veil of Summer. That hurt. It's like they have a red-black card left in hand. Let's tap the one red land they have. That makes sense. That really hurt. Hey, shame. Yeah, that that could have cost me this game. I have other plans. Could 
Could cost me this, we'll see. Looking pretty good. Galta. I am limitless. Isn't death amusing? My Dino is bigger. Got the bigger dino. Before me. See Nicobolus. <laughs> yeah, that could be taking, yeah, getting your stuff stolen. That That is, that, yeah, that's that's a pretty good call for being the most tilting mechanic. It's on the short list, at least. What's better, Davriel or Disinformation Campaign? I guess Davriel, I don't know. I'll just keep it two and one. Schematic Fanatic. New title for Nicol Bolas. <laughs> oh, you don't like land destruction? I've, I've actually always liked land destruction. I don't really mind getting my lands blown up, but... Probably, that's probably because I've destroyed, you know, it just it's like not even the same uh, ballpark, the amount of lands I've destroyed and the lad, amount of lands that have been destroyed on my side, though. Well, this is our best card, but it's unplayable because of this. Probably still just have to keep this. If they have a really fast hand, we're going to lose, but we have Devout Decree for the 7 6 also. Really hope for Shocklands. Yay. <clears throat> Nothing like the if they have a really fast hand, we're going to lose statement followed by. Turn one mana creature, turn two mana creature. Nothing like that to start the game off. Yeah, I don't think we can even play temples in this kind of deck either. We just need shocks and checks. Our mana base is already slow enough. I don't think we can really make it slower with temples. Yay. Check land. I don't want them to have another haste dino.
Well, if you're not going to play your cards and you're going to keep them in your hand, I'm going to make you discard them. Them's the rules. I don't make the rules around here, those are just the rules. Alright, so by waiting a turn... We got to trade our Bell Hunt for a Ripjaw Raptor there, and also make them discard a Galta. Pretty good. Playing the Watery Grave because the Watery Grave lets the, the Sulphur Falls come into play untapped next turn. So obviously we needed the red mana. Um, guess we don't really need to hold up a Devil if they didn't play anything. More discard. Another Galta? Galta, Galta. Yeah. Cool looking Galta. They have a... They're playing at least three Galtas just in the deck. Oh, wait. Oh, darn it. All right, I played that too fast. I didn't realize that... I didn't compute drawing Drowned Catacomb. You know, I already, like, was like, okay, well, we don't get the seventh land untapped for Ravager. But drawing the Drowned Catacomb, I could have flipped Ravager. Okay, so the question is, why did why did I not chump with a bell hunt since it was going to die to the wrath anyway? Well, I mean, I should attack here. Sorry. <laughs> Sometimes talking and playing is difficult. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry, I've made some mistakes. But we're doing good still. So the reason why I didn't chump block with the bell hunt because, is because if I chump block with the bell hunt, you know, like, let's say... So let's say I do that. So they have the 5-4. I chump block with the Bell Hunt. They're, they do not play Ripjaw Raptor at all. Um, Ripjaw Raptor. Um, Y'all are giving me a punt for that? I Like, do a play that, like, wins the game by flipping. And because I didn't do this 4 damage that doesn't really matter, it's a punt. Um... So yeah, so I didn't block, and so since I didn't block, then my opponent played an extra creature, since I still had a creature to their one creature, which their creature was still better, they didn't need to, but if I block, for sure they don't play that Ripjaw Raptor. Like 100% no Ripjaw Raptor there if I block. All right, this is what this is what four color discards all about. This kind of hand right here. Yeah, thoughts he's drawn. <laughs> Please cast that growth spiral. Thank you. Now I just have more information. Um I should do this first. Uh, 
guess I keep both of those. Ravager just so good. So we gotta keep the land. Can't discard cards to play chemistry inside if you don't have cards. Now we draw a white source. White land. Eh. Not bad, not bad. If you show remorse, I'll show the story. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. I'm not gonna just minus Teferi to do nothing because I may you know if we don't if we can't flip Ravager next turn, I could just minus to bounce Ravager to make them discard again. Which is looking like what I'm gonna do. Here we go. More discard. Yeah, <laughs> we're like, you want to bounce Ravager? We dare you. Dare ya. Don't worry, I got this. All right, so I got nothing over here. They got nothing. I should probably not flip Ravager to still keep it a two turn clock. They of course need to block like or bounce my Teferi. Yeah, flip Ravager doesn't make them discard, otherwise we would. That makes him discard. Looks like they're gonna put Blast Zone on three for this Teferi. Still tap the white land. Oh, I like tapping the white land there. I'll have to order twenty. Empty your mind. I kind of want to bounce my Ravager and make them discard again. I guess if I do that, then they get to blast zone away Ravager though. Instead of blast zone away no, to fairy. I am not making this up as I go. This has been a waste of my time. Ooh, we need to land. That, that one hurt. I really wanted to play Dragon God. That one hurt. But this is just the better play. Alright, just draw again, draw again. 
Draw again. Hey, Paul. Just seven mana, shuffle your library. Or that's really means zero mana because it just untaps their land. So all that is is just shuffle the library. It's like. Mm -hmm. Do I want to command the Red Horde? Any Blood Sun? Guess we probably don't need Blood Sun. Blood Sun's not bad though. Maybe one. I guess if I'm playing Blood Sun, I should take out Ascanta. But Blood Sun shuts off their Ascantas. And their Blast Zones. And their Memorial to Geniuses. Maybe we don't need that. What are the other two cards that leave? All these cards are good. I guess it's do Bell Hunt. I think Bell Hunt's slower than Angrath. Bell Hunt's hard to cast. Life gain doesn't really matter. This is even a good hand. Yeah, so I guess it's like a, it's like three, four, five. I'm guessing they have Veil of Summer. Probably just led with Forest. It's probably ooh, not Veil of Summer. Why are they opting before and then putting a card on top? Like, do you think I'm taking opt? Because I'm not. I can tell you that right now. Wait, I can't beat this card. Noxious Grasp, where you at? Hmm. So they have a card that I can't beat, and they didn't play it. They don't know that I can't beat that card, I guess. Whoa. Really? That makes sense. No, Tamio. The downfall of my deck. Cataloging. The sorry past holds our future. Mm. It's just a draw one now. Yeah, four mana hard counter. Spells and abilities your opponent's control cannot cause you to discard cards. Rude.
All right, well, I need it. I need to get my other bedevil in here. Hmm. I know I noticed this somewhere. I did board out one bedevil. Feel really bad about that. Right now. There are so many keep an open mind. Tamio is the hard counter. Got to have all my removal for Tamio. I do have like, you know, I brought in Noxious Grasps, so I did that. We're good there. To the library. Oh Look at all these Vela Summers. Shifting Ceratops. And Tamios. Are right, gonna get rid of the two campaigns? Get a one bell haunt back. They can attack. No, I'm playing a command the dread horde. Also. Yeah, cryptic command for green mana. One green mana, cryptic command. Pretty broken. All right, so good news is we have Teferi. Keeps them from being able to encrypt a command. Temple of Epiphany, you're like. Here goes nothing. You say you're a land, but you don't cast my spells. I don't know what kind of land you are. But focus and meditate and prepare. Let's try this. Just the trick for this. All right, Tamio gone. <clears throat> That's an important one. Even though Reclamation can untap lands, they don't get to cast more things. Um, so obviously I'm playing Nicol Bolas Dragon God here. I'm gonna start just making them exile stuff. I know I don't get to draw cards. In exchange for eternal servitude. I will wipe your bloodline. Let your weak minds crumble. This might be a bad idea. But they're they're gonna blast on away the Narset anyway, because they're gonna blast on away my Teferi. So 
each one of these is just an exile. Your defiance is infuriate. I outsmarted you eons ago. No, I am not making this up as I go. Um... My schemes have been foiled. Wow. My schemes are never ending. Oh, why am I playing this Davriel? It's gonna die. I should have got rid of Davriel. I forgot about the blast zone with Davriel. That was that was just kind of a waste. Should have ditched it. Oh well, just flip our neck. Our as Kanta earlier. Yeah, I, sh I should have just gotten rid of it. Seeing maybe, maybe we draw a white source and get to Bell Haunt, but I mean, they'd still we would have made them sacrifice that thing anyway. I concede. Now their blast zone is gross. Hey, Matthew. That could be game. <clears throat> so, yeah, I mean, well, the Teferi is going to die, so we should minus the Teferi on something. Doing it on the Ascanta means they don't get the, the Surveil trigger at the upkeep. Doing it on the Wilderness Reclamation, they can still just play Reclamation and still cast Nexus. So doing it on the, the Reclamation didn't didn't help us at all. All we did was just get rid of one Surveil Trigger. Because, yeah, obviously they got to recast it and then play Nexus. So neither, neither one helped us very, very much, but... Um. My intellect is without limit. Stop. Oh wait, undo. Tap this thing. If they had no cards in hand, I would definitely dispersal, but they do. Playing Bell Haunt just taps me out. Where maybe I need Noxious Grass for a Tamiyo. Whoa, they did not blast zone my 
They didn't blast zone. Oh, it was already on five? Oh, I guess it was already on five. I thought they had to add, had to add counters. I didn't see them add the counters before. Yeah, Blood Sun so needed. Yeah. Blood Sun would have been a lot better for us than not having Blood Sun. Yeah, so we lost. This game's over. Looking back at it, well, one, I really wish we didn't have Temple Epiphany and we could have actually cast our Bell Hunt and then we could have attacked the Narset and actually drawn cards all those times we ticked up Nicol Bolas and minus Teferi, but we didn't get to draw cards. But looking back at it, I could have, I guess I could have just minus, like maybe I should have just minused uh, Nicol Bolas the very first time for the Narset. Um, but yeah, we could have brought in the Blood Suns. We saw there Blast Zone just saved our opponent. Um, really thought about bringing in Blood Suns. Um, yeah, they could have had yeah they they had Ceratops in game two. They who knows they could have more win cons. Like we we weren't taking another turn, so I'm, they had a win con in their deck. I'm not gonna just sit there and waste my time though. So yeah, so our deck. Uh, we need to change some things. Uh, thinking like with our, our mana base. Um, so obviously these those cards are not playable. Can't play blue-red cards. And I don't even really want these temples. Maybe a Temple of Silence, maybe. But how, how I had my other um, mana base that worked out just fine that I would at least start with and then see if, basically see if I'd want to add in Temple of Silence anywhere. But I had three Blood Crypt, two Clifftop Retreat, um, all the, the Dragon Skull Summits. So that was my red mana there. So I actually have more red sources. This list had eight. That has nine now. Um, I went... Three Catacomb, the four Watery Grave. But I had a lot more white because our deck did not have enough white at all. Got to get four Hallowed Fountain in there. Three Glacial Fortress. Um, I played three Watery Grave and I did not have Isolated Chapel. Yeah, I didn't I didn't have isolated chapel. That seems weird. This gives us I guess I only had I only had some Kaya's rats. I didn't I wasn't playing Bell Haunt, of course. Um I mean I had I had Bell Haunts in the sideboard and then Kai's rats in the main, but um, honestly, this is maybe one too many. This is probably one too many red sources still. So if we take out summit for chapel. And too many blue. Yeah, it's too many blue. Take out a fortress for a chapel. What's up, legit?
Barely legit. Is that too many blue? So that's 12 blue now. We don't need, you know, we only really need the one blue source. And it's not like vital, but it is pretty good for the thought erasure. I guess it would be Drowned Catacomb to take out for Chapel. That's fine. We'll do it like this, but yeah. So there's a there's a mana base that could help us cast our spells a lot better. Cool. Hey, thanks. You've been watching on YouTube daily. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, uh, besides that, in the main deck, I was really, really unimpressed with Davriel. I would want to play a more impactful card. You know, like, obviously, like, Teferi is just really good. Like, you know, maybe more Teferi, more, Teferi, more um, other things. Like, maybe more Discovery, maybe two mana removal. You know, like, we don't have two mana removal. Um, basically, I'd, I'd want, you know, just, like, other, other cards besides Davriel. You know, you can just look at, like, any Esper control, like... There's lots of things we can be playing over that, but I was not really impressed with this card. And the same thing with Campaign. We only have six, like, especially if we don't play the other Discoveries, we only have six Surveil cards to actually pick this up. And that's kind of rough there, too. I wouldn't mind having, like, Narset in here. I don't know if that's if we can do that with Double Blue. Honestly, maybe we can't do Narset. But yeah, maybe just, like, play, instead of the Davriel and the Disinformation Campaign, maybe more regular Esper stuff. Because it felt like we had enough discard between... I like the main deck Duress, but like main deck Duress, Thought Erasure, and then Bell Hunt, Angrath, uh, Ravager. I think we still have enough discard stuff where we can like... Those five slots could be better control cards. Um, yeah, that was that was like the main thing. Besides that, I don't know about it. But yeah, like Cast Down, Dispark... You know, some more some more versatile stuff you know like we have we have nothing that actually gets rid of like a wilderness reclamation for example or um so yeah like having maybe like some cast downs to sparks other stuff like that instead of davriel disinformation campaign but still pretty fun deck here all right we'll move on to our last deck of the night but if you're watching this video later on youtube don't forget to the like and subscribe buttons over there but thanks for watching some four color discard and i'll see you for the next video